East Lansing police have yet to find the suspects who flipped over that car after MSU's win over U of M two weeks ago. But people were quick to reach out to the owner of the car who needed help replacing it. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cash shows us how the community is responding to this ugly incident. Well, just over a week ago in East Lansing, multiple fires were set and two cars were flipped after Michigan State beat Michigan. One of those cars was being driven by a U of M student and it belonged to his grandma. Hours after MSU's win over the Wolverines, a mob of college age kids swarmed this car in East Lansing, <laughs> screaming and cheering as they kicked out the windows and flipped it on its hood. That red 2009 Mercury Grand Marquis, now totaled, belonged to the grandmother of U of M student Jack Borchanian. It's not a fancy car, but you know, it definitely holds some value to my family. Um, and it was really unfortunate to see it go like that. Jack is a junior from Northville and like his older sister and cousins had the honor of driving grandma's Mercury in college. He was in East Lansing for the weekend and parked the car outside a friend's house when the crowd found it. Kicked at the car, threw things at it, um, and then a couple of guys ended up flipping it over and breaking the windows and everything. Just like really disgusting stuff. Jack was gone when it happened, but saw videos on social media. All day after the game, students and fans started dozens of fires across East Lansing and even flipped a different car. Jack isn't sure why his car was targeted, but says it had a U of M bumper sticker. That could be a cause for um, why it happened. In the days that followed, Jack launched a GoFundMe. The page spread beyond family and friends, reaching random MSU fans and alumni who donated with comments of support. People that I knew, both knew and didn't know, um, donating, spreading the word. Um, I mean, it, it really just kind of blew up. And in less than five days, donors pitched in enough money to cover the cost of the car and even the towing fee. Jack hopes in the future, his peers think twice before destroying someone's car, but is at least happy other Spartan fans stepped up. It was really awesome to see um, the support from the Spartan community like that. Really grateful. The East Lansing police are still looking for the people responsible for flipping this car. If you have any information or recognize anyone in the videos, we'll have contact info for the detective in charge on our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.